Right, in this video, I'm going to explain to you the two biggest bottlenecks in your high ticket business and what to do to solve them. Let's get into it. So this is based around the idea that all high ticket businesses are form formulated and kind of structured in the same way. Three main components. So we have client acquisition, conversion, and value delivery. So client acquisition, we're talking about marketing, content, personal branding, top of funnel stuff. Conversion then is bottom of funnel. So this is sales, being able to convert someone from being a prospect to a customer. And then there's value delivery, which is, can you actually do what you say you can do? And the aim is to go from this, which is where you have yourself screaming out to a giant pool of people which include your prospects and telling them, hey, I do this and this is what I do. Uh, Want to work with me? Well, before you get to ask that question of want to work with me, you actually need to fix the two biggest bottlenecks of your business. And there is a common misconception and that is that most people spend their time on these two parts of the business org structure. So, most people spend their time on the tools, the tactics, the strategies around client acquisition and conversion, which is a very good idea because you do need people to actually help. But the problem is, is that most people start trying to dial this up before you are actually able to get happy customers, which is the aim. So the aim is to go from prospect who is sitting within a pool of other prospects to becoming a happy customer. And most people skip that part, the actual doing the good job part. And there is a big problem with that. So first up, I want you to think of your business like a pipe. So you can imagine water flowing through a pipe from the pool of potential prospects and potential clients that you can work with all the way through down to a nice, happy customer. And you have to think of your business like a pipe that constrains water flow. Now, in each of these different three sections, you have potential places where the pipe can constrict and cause a bottleneck, which results in a reduction in the flow of happy customers. And there are, now this is a very simplified diagram, but the truth is, is there, there are hundreds of potential steps which could potentially be constricted. And if you constrict it at one place, then that is going to constrict the flow down here. But there are two areas of this diagram that matter the most. And the first is this, is actually being able to get a happy customer. Because once you get a happy customer, you then get the second most important thing, which is proof which is actual proof that you are capable of doing what you're doing, which is in the form of testimonials, evidence, case studies. Testimonials, evidence, case studies. So for example, this is uh, a win from one of our recent students, Stephen, who's a relationship coach, recently just got his first, uh, he was moving from kind of, um, uh, I guess, low ticket to formulating his high ticket offer. This was his first win um, after after working with us for a few weeks. Finally got his first offer, first win, uh, which is a 5K, 5K PIF for his transformation relationship coaching. And he was, I told him what he needed to do. I gave him the roadmap. I gave him the clarity. And I told him, this is what we need to do to get you closing for your offer. And he did what I said. He watched our training, the specific sales mastery module. He followed the exact blueprint to actually get the prospect to buy in through telling stories. But there was a reason why he was able to do this because this is actually a meta example because Stephen is actually good at what he does. He already has evidence that he is capable of doing what he says he was doing. He was just selling previously at a lower level lower level and in a slightly different format. So this was taking the evidence which he previously had of helping people with transformations and actually making them happen. He already had the evidence. So when it came to speaking to people, 
He just had to tell the stories and actually get the prospect, prospect's buy-in of his solution and his process. But he had the most important part, which was he had happy customers previously. So that is why you need happy customers. So how do you get happy customers? Because ultimately happy customers mean that people will work for you, work with you. So oh, this is stuck. So you get happy customers by fixing the other side of this equation of the two most common bottlenecks, which is in fact, you, you are the bottleneck. And I will explain why. Now, I've kind of drawn this, uh, this little kind of diagram here because this is what happens when we go through the process of leveling up. So we, there is a quote from, uh, from Atomic Habits from James Clear about we do not rise to the level of our goals. We fall to the level of our standards or systems. I always kind of inter, uh, I interplay standards and systems because I think it's better that way. So when we are in the process of leveling up or this way, <laughs> what happens is we don't like it. And this is the biggest challenge in the process of leveling up is that our efforts go against our natural desires as humans to stay comfortable. So when we are, when we, we, we all, all operate at a certain level of comfort and we have a ceiling that when we start experiencing feelings, emotions, experiences that start feeling like they are, they are, they, they are alien or, or slightly odd. What that is, what happens is our bodies and our uh, subconscious minds, they tell us that you're in the danger zone. And this is like, when I say the danger zone, I literally mean the danger zone. This is a, the reason our, the reason we have this response is to keep us safe because our physio physiology and our psychology developed when we were potentially going to get eaten or attacked by other humans. So this response to feeling discomfort or feeling things that are not in our kind of normal realm is actually a safety mechanism and it's to keep us safe and it's to keep us, well, it's to keep us safe and keep us alive. But the problem is, is we now live in a world where, hey, we're generally safe, but humans have evolved so rapidly that our physiology hasn't adapted to the extreme progress that we have made with the comfort of living that we now have. So what we have to do is we need to recognize that. We need to recognize that when we are in the process of leveling up, we are going to feel feelings that are uncomfortable, are weird feeling, and this manifests in a few different ways. So this manifests in things like procrastination, not doing the things you know you need to do, anxiety, fear, overwhelm. All of these things are you hitting your comfort ceiling and your your body is saying, no, I'm going to knock you back down. And that's what happens. You get knocked down. So what you need to do is, in fact, you need to firstly recognize this and you need to set yourself a new standard. And in the world of entrepreneurship, when we are really looking at different levels of revenue, you need to understand that the person that is capable of operating at 100k a month revenue is very different to the person who can operate at 10k per month revenue. And the person who can operate at 500k a month has different skills, standards, behaviors, character traits, beliefs than the person down here. And this is the process of leveling up. And this is what you need to do to be able to solve this. To be able to get this, you need to solve you. And the good news is, is that I 
have helped people do this and I have the solution. I have an entire course. You can either get this for free on YouTube. Just go search my YouTube channel. There is a six hour free course or you can access it through Creator Launch University, which is now at $9 per month to access our community of high ticket entrepreneurs, people who are trying to win in the creator economy. And there is the course in there, but you can get it for free. Like I just want people to level up so you can get it for free if you want, but it's also in there. And what you need to do is you need to do this. You need to craft a new identity. So one of the videos is the crafting your new identity and it, there is associated, there's an associated playbook, a worksheet, an exercise book that goes alongside this to help you craft your identity. And this is what you need to do to solve this because the two bottlenecks of your business are in fact at both ends. They are here. They are being able to get a happy customer and here you. So if you are at the moment thinking about all of these strategy tactics, all of the things that are associated with all of the things that you see on social media and you haven't addressed being able to get results for your customers or you, then you need to do that. And I can talk about this because I've just been through this. I've just been through this in my business. And this is, this is what I kind of call like scaling and consolidation phases. So in your business, as it's associated with this, it's associated with your comfort ceiling. So as you grow, as you grow, what happens is, is your business reaches a breaking point. And this is where the systems, the methodologies, the processes, everything that you have built do not no longer work because there is too much water flowing through the front, through the beginning of the pipe and your system cannot keep up. And so this stuff breaks at various different parts. Suddenly you get bottlenecks, suddenly you get constraints. And this is why you track KPIs and benchmarks. So how, why you track KPIs, metrics, and you have benchmarks is so that you can measure where things are breaking. So you can fix those things. And sometimes it takes time to go and fix them. So what happens is, is you have to take the foot, your foot off the gas. And for me, I've just taken three months off, uh, going after create, like creating content, um, sales and marketing for a period. I stopped running ads and that was so that I could build the foundation of my business for the next phase of scaling. So what I've done is I took about six weeks, six to eight weeks to consolidate, fix places that were broken and create a much, much, much more robust program, which is what I've done. And so I spent probably over 500 hours putting all this together and what that is going to do and has already done very quickly has fixed this to where the flow of, of this has, is even higher than it previously was. So I've just gone through this. And the question is, is like, have you done this? Where are you? Where are you? Like, are you getting the results that mean you can make, you can get testimonials, case studies, interviews, and evidence? Because if you're not, that's what you need to focus on. You need to focus on getting results. And if you're really at the start, you need to work for free. You need to work for free, get results, and then you need to fix, well, you need to fix you first. This comes first. You need to fix yourself and you need to craft your new identity. That's what you need to do. Okay, sick. I've just scribbled on that. So that's what you need to do. You need to fix yourself. You need to level up. And if you want to do so, you can join Creator Launch University and get access to this training. Um, there is, like I said, the associated playbooks. There is the crafting your, your new identity exercise you can get access to. This is a Notion document and it'll take you through all of this. And as always, if you are someone who already has some case studies, if you already got some case studies, like kind of Stephen has, then I would recommend booking a call with me and seeing if you might be a good fit for our launch growth infrastructure program. This is our 12 month program where we take you through the entire, uh, well, we give you the entire infrastructure to build your business past 30K per month, just like our students have. So if that is you, click the button below and book a call 
with me. And if you still want to learn what, what I do, then I'm going to, you need to fix these things and you need to understand how to fix these things. If you've focused on you, you fix that. If you've got results and you just need the tactics, then I'm going to put a video right here to walk you through. Oh, that's going to be over in the corner to walk you through our one simple ad strategy and protocol and our attraction and authority flywheel, which is our business model. So click over there and give it a watch. Peace.